Good morning guys. Today is our last full day in LA so I'm ready to just enjoy it and to just do a lot of things. Right now we're headed to the Glendale Fighting Club. My favourite UFC fighter Ronda Rousey trains there. I don't even know if it's going to be open. I hope it is because I want to buy like a t-shirt or a jumper and I just want to see what it's like. So I'm looking forward to getting there. here and I'm so excited to see it. Ah, it's probably the most excited I've been the whole trip which is silly but I don't know it's just gonna be fun. Awesome. They were actually pretty nice. The guy introduced himself and shook my hand and um, he told me I could take photos. So they must get Rousey fans going in there a lot. But yeah, I got my jumper, Glendale Fighting Club. I like the red riding. And it's got that on the hood and this on the back. Very cool. I'm glad I got this as a, like a souvenir. It's the first real souvenir I bought from the US, but it's definitely worth it. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so excited. I'll probably wear it the next time I go and watch Ronda fight. I'm so excited to have been there. We are back at Venice Beach, so excuse the wind. We're near the ocean. That's gonna happen. But it's just as beautiful as ever. It's not as hot this time, so that's good. I want to do some shopping and we might swim later, but I don't know if we'll swim here. It feels good to be in the sunshine. which is good. I got Ethan a t-shirt and a singlet, got myself a t-shirt and a singlet, so it was pretty successful. I think that's all the shopping I want to do. I wouldn't mind a pair of shoes. Okay, I just went my mouth. And I want new headphones, but that may or may not happen. Now we're going to find someone to have a drink or eat or something. Every man dies. I'm on the pier. We finished lunch. That's probably the least enjoyable meal I've had since I've been here, but that's okay. We're about to go swimming, so it should be fun. swim. We started out by sun baking and I actually fell asleep so I had a little nap. That was good and then I didn't really want to swim but once I got in there it was a lot of fun. I always love battling against the waves and getting pushed around by the waves. It's such a cool and humbling feeling. I really like it. Uh, the water here is a lot less salty than it is back home so it's much more comfortable and nice. But now we're headed home so it's time to say goodbye to Venice Beach. Definitely a nice place to swim. I enjoyed myself a lot. crazy beach hair and I love it. I love the beach. Say goodbye to Venice for the last time. I really really like this place. I could live around here. Apparently it gets dangerous at night but I would like to stay here next time I come to California. It's just got such a nice vibe. Very chill. It's relaxed and I like it. Now we're going home. We're gonna probably go out to dinner for our last dinner in LA. It's gonna be good. Oh, it's sad it's coming to an end, but I've just got to enjoy the last couple of hours we have because it's beautiful. Bye, Venice. I love you. <laughs> Look at that. Those palm trees, so beautiful. I love it. It's sad. back at the 
hotel room now. I just had a shower, which is always an amazing feeling after having been at the beach. I'm going to show you my haul of everything that I bought down at Venice Beach today. I don't often buy clothes, so I never really have hauls. This is the first singlet. It says California and it's got the bear on it. And I've got this designed in a t-shirt and in a singlet because I couldn't decide. So I like all of those. It's going to be cool to wear those. Right now though I can't do it because of my ridiculous tan line. I'll have to work on that. <laughs> and then I've got these sunglasses which are green and have blue tints, tinted lenses. These are yellow with yellow tinted lenses and these are mirrored lenses with white arms. Whoa. $20 for all those and I can't remember how much each of these were. All in all, I'm happy with that. I've got my souvenirs now, so I don't have to worry about not having got souvenirs. Very happy. And new sunglasses. I've got so many pairs of sunglasses now, but that's a good thing because I actually broke my imitation Ray-Bans. I lost them for a while, but then I found them. And then I sat on them and broke them. I've done that so many times. It's ridiculous. That's why I don't buy myself expensive pairs because I know that I'll probably wreck them. Anyway, we're going out to dinner soon. Our last dinner in LA, it's going to be great. Well, it's not the last one because we'll have one before the plane tomorrow probably. But you know what I mean. It's sad, but I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be so cool. We haven't left for dinner just yet. So I'm going to do a first taste of Blue Moon. But before I do that, I got sunburnt today. And it's really weird. It's like just in my armpits because I guess I didn't reach that with sunscreen. And then on my thighs, a little bit up from where I didn't reach. So it's like one part of my thighs is sunburnt. <laughs> And my armpits like here if you can see like here is sunburnt well it's underneath my t-shirt but yeah <laughs> odd places to get sunburnt spot sunburning and now I know why you can draw a smiley face or something lewd on someone's back and then everything else around it gets burnt and they've got like a smiley face on their back it actually works I found that out today um <laughs> anyway I told that in a really long way I've got a habit of doing that I'm gonna try blue moon It's got a really odd taste to it, but I think I like it. It's Belgian wheat ale. It tastes like no other beer I've ever had. You're supposed to serve it with an orange, but I don't have any oranges in the hotel. But I like it. It's good. I don't think I drink it all the time, but it's pretty tasty. to Hollywood and Highland to get some food but we couldn't find anything really so we're searching for something else. We want to go to a restaurant and get like a bottle of wine and just eat a nice last meal. Hopefully we can find somewhere. Apparently my face is also sunburnt. That's what I get for napping on the beach. Anyway we're back at Universal and we're going to Universal City Walk. We're going to go to Bubba Gum Shrimp. I've never been there and I've Kylie have been there like twice. Twice? Have you been there? She's not answering me. Yeah. Yes, they've been there twice. Anyway, there's this really pretty view of LA from the car park, so I'm going to show it to you. But yeah, I'm excited to eat Bubba Gum Shrimp. It's 
explained it wrong before. When you want to wait at a stop, you've got to put this one up. Stop, for a stop. And when you don't need service, you keep run, forest run. So they walk past you, I guess. It's pretty cool. I like the food. Having some prawns, fish, and I don't know what else, but it's tasty. Bubba gum shrimp was awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. We even got to keep the cup, so we'll get a clean version of the cup that we had that margarita corona in. I'm so full though. I got a new pair of shoes. Oh, I'm excited. I got some vans. As you can see, if I can open the bag. Come on, open. And they're maroon. They're maroon. You weirdo. <laughs> Stop it. So, they're maroon. I like them. Um, they were only $50, so that's pretty good. And yeah, mine aren't the best color. I don't. I got given these, so they wouldn't be my first choice. But I really like my new maroon ones. Now we're going back to the hotel, and we're gonna pack because it's been our last night in LA, but I've enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure I was told this, but I just realized that the bubblegum shrimp thing we got is actually a margarita shaker. Look at it. And it's got the top part and a little shot glass in the middle. And I did my washing the other day and somehow I mustn't have looked in the dryer before I put my stuff in. And I accidentally got somebody, some guy's underwear and t-shirt. And now I feel bad because they probably missed them and they've probably already left. But either way, I'm gonna take it back down to the laundry and next time I will check the dryer more thoroughly before I put my stuff in. I'm packing and hopefully I can get most things to fit because I've actually bought quite a lot so, yeah, I'll make it work. It'll be like Tetris, it'll be fun, like a game. I went and dropped those clothes off back at the laundry. One of the things that I wanted in this hotel was to be able to walk upstairs, and I knew they had a staircase, but sometimes if you go down a staircase, you can't open it from the inside, if that makes sense. But this whole time, this has been here, and I could have been walking up and down the stairs and then getting a little bit extra exercise. And it's meant for guests as well because it's got all of these posters, all these pictures as well. See? Very cool. <laughs> yeah, and I wish I had been using this the whole time. Trust me to find out on the last day we're here that this is here. But I think there might be roof access. So I'm going to see if I can go up there. They're really creepy as well. It's painted to kind of look like concrete. It's <laughs> so loud. Hold on. Painted to kind of look like concrete, but it's actually wood, as you can see. Very cool. <laughs> look at this one. The Terminator. I like this hotel. I'd probably stay here again. Hold on. I'm gonna stop vlogging, and if I can get onto the roof, I'll start again. I made it to the roof. It wasn't very difficult because I think this hotel is only like about five stories high. It's up there. But it says emergency exit only, so I'm not even going to try. You never know what would happen. Can't believe I didn't know this was here the whole time. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of old mansions or manors that we would visit in primary school for excursions. Just the stairwell. It's really, really cool. I can't believe I only just discovered it. And this is the end of our last full day in LA. I had a great day. It was great to go to the Glendale Fighting Club and see where my favorite fighter trains and to get that sweater or hoodie, whatever you want to call it, jumper. It was just awesome. And then Venice Beach was really cool, except my sunburn really hurts because like it rubs against my t-shirt. Totally worth it though. I'm glad I did shopping. And uh, dinner was nice as well. Bubblegum shrimp, I enjoyed it a lot. So it's really, really sad for me right now. We do still get to see a bit of LA tomorrow, but not nearly as much. And yeah, it's our last sleep in the United States. <sighs> it's gone by so quickly yet it feels like such a long time. I've enjoyed it. I'm so glad I did it. I made the decision less than a month before I left, but I'm so glad that I did it. I love LA. I love Vegas and I love Anaheim as well. So yeah, anyway flying home tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.